a graph from Desmos that shows what's going on. This red curve is the graph of f of x equals the square root of the quantity x minus 5. By the way, this really should have been written y equals the square root of x minus 5. If you don't have the capability to extend this square root symbol over that quantity, well, then at least put parentheses around the quantity x minus 5. So we know that it's not this, which is what I originally tried. The square root of x take away 5. Okay, so here's the table. With the x of one value suggested by the exercises. Here's f of the corresponding x sub 1 value, f of x sub 1. And you can see 5.5, 5.9, 5.99 as the x sub 1 value gets closer and closer to the 6 of the 0.6 comma 1. The slope, which is this is the change in y from the point q, which is x sub 1, f of x sub 1, change in y over the change in x, that looks like it's getting closer and closer, perhaps to 0 0.5. So here we are at 6.001. And I could go to 6.00001 and get even closer to having a slope 0 0.5. This green segment is a secant segment. It's joining the 0.61 to some point that's pretty far away from 6. I think this was at an x-coordinate of 5. If I share my screen and go to Desmos, you can actually see it happening. This slider here for A, uh, this had a coordinate of 5.05, .05, and I'm joining that segment as A moves from 5 towards 7. Uh, I'm joining that A, F of A with 0.6.1, and see how that secant segment is getting closer and closer to having the same slope as this purple line, which is a tangent line. Now, you might not know how to write the equation of that tangent line yet, but it's coming. As I get close to, closer to 6, 1, the secant line uh, matches the slope, or gets close to matching the slope of the tangent line. And as I move away from 6.1, 6 comma 1 towards 7. The secant line is getting further and further away from the slope of the tangent line. Okay, so where you're headed is using calculus to find the slope of that tangent line to the curve at the point 6 comma 1 and then writing its equation based on the slope and the point that it goes through. Okay, so I'll go back to here and see if there's any other comments that I want to make. I don't think so. There you go.